You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the 2018 Drone You Fly In is right around the corner. This is the only drone conference that actually allows you to fly real world flight missions. That's right, nine different missions and multiple stations within each mission allow you to truly test your drone skills. What are these missions? They're gonna allow you to practice, to subject track. They're gonna allow you to practice cell tower mapping, crime scene mapping, payload deployment, and so much more. The Drone You Fly In is one of those few events where you can actually learn to not only better your skills, but learn from other people around you. It's a three day long event, two days of a lot of flying, and the last day with a mixture of classes to help you augment your business. In addition, this year we're actually offering a business boot camp as well. So you're ready to kickstart your business and ensure that you're actually building the business of your dreams, then increase your revenue, increase your motivation and inspiration. Check out the Drone You Fly In. It's DroneYouFlyIn.com. That's D-R-O-N-E U. F-L-Y-I-N dot com. We'll see you there. Welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. I'm your hairy fellowed friend, Paul. <laughs> I guess that makes me your bald friend, Yes, Rob. Anyways, yes, S- that say would with be confidence, me. Rob. That would be us. <laughs> well, there's no reason to not be confident <laughs> because I ain't changing it. Anyways, at least I don't care to change it. And this is episode 782. It's Friday the 13th. You know that, right? Is it really? It is. Maybe that's why I feel that like means it. nothing. Do-do. Means nothing. Anyways, thank you for being with us. Thank you for sending in your Unless questions. You're a paramedic. That, oh gosh. Yeah. Hopefully everybody's all right. Anyways. Anyway, on to today's show, which yes. should be a good one. Very excited. <laughs> Again, thank you for being with us. Thank you for the reviews. If you have a minute, don't be afraid to leave us a review. We do appreciate it. Um, We're really excited because, you know, it's spring is in the air. It's getting warmer. And actually, for a lot of folks, it's becoming time to fly. The jobs are flying in. So I want to ask you, what are you doing? Have you even just sat down to create a mind map to figure out what type of drone jobs do I want to do? Who do I want to go after? Am I ready to move beyond real estate and fixed subject flying? Because chances are, if you're listening to this, chances are, if you've been listening to this for the last year, chances are you're in the boat of sailing forward, progressing your business, and you got to push yourself. But the first thing you got to do is make a plan, because if you don't have a plan, then you're not prepared for success. So you got to make that plan. You got to figure out who you're going to go after, then figure out how, then figure out how you're going to follow up and figure out how you're going to convert. Once you get that far, it's time for your next plan creating your scalable system. What systems will you create to take in the most business possible, to fly as many jobs as possible, to increase your revenue and your overall happiness? But that being said, I think it's really important, and I've gone off the deep end myself, it's really important to stay on that diving board, to stay happy, to stay motivated, to stay inspired. If you find yourself bogged down and overwhelmed, then you haven't prepared yourself. You haven't thought through what it's going to take. Either that or you're taking on the wrong drone jobs. Mm -hmm. So never forget your why. Never forget why you're in this. Never forget why you're doing this because it is the most important reason to do what you're doing. Anyway. Indeed. What do they say? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That is true. I believe that. I do too. Anywho. What about hair growth? Um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> for who i was just saying you know planning hair growth how does that work uh, planting planning <laughs> <laughs> maybe planting is this like a pam pam problem <laughs> maybe there's some new planting mechanism for growing hair <laughs> but i'm planning on not having any well i guess that's your plan there absolutely you got one and i'm kind of digging it <laughs> hey it is convenient like the frozen food section <laughs> All right, let's play the question, Rob. We are uh, we are ranting for no one's benefit other than our own. Well, hope somebody laughs at least a little bit, maybe. Hi, guys. I'm a part-time drone operator based out of Vancouver Island, BC, Canada, and this will be my third year in business. 
I've had my DJI Phantom 3 Pro for three years now, and I have my special flight operation certificate, which is the certification required here in Canada, along with the mandatory insurance. I started practicing like crazy, built up a portfolio of photos and videos. I set up my website, bought a better computer, learned how to edit videos. I bought Lightroom and started learning that. And when all this was done, I started searching on the MLS website for houses in my area selling for over a million dollars and then contacting the realtors to make my pitch. This strategy worked well and I was fairly busy through the summer of 2016 and made about $12,000 working for realtors that year. I also have an outdoor wedding in my portfolio, a job done for an environmental consulting company, and the opportunity to shoot video over the world's largest show tent in Vancouver. It seems like the romance with realtors is over, however, and I'm not getting much interest this year. And it definitely fell off quite a bit last year, too. Topping it off, I'm getting bored with flying over houses. I have noticed many of my competitors in the area are moving on and getting businesses in other niches. The world of mapping came into my consciousness, and I started my free trial with Drone Deploy. I'm beginning to feel like an insignificant player over here. Nobody talks seriously about the Phantom 3 Pro anymore. Mapping will require even more serious computer power, and I still don't have any experience with it. I don't have much money to spend, and it looks like I'll need to spend at least 10000 on a newer drone, perhaps an Inspire 1 or an Inspire 2. I'll need Monster Computer to munch the mapping data, and I don't even know who to pitch to or what to say. I have no idea what a deliverable looks like in the mapping space. So my question is, how far can I go with my Phantom 3 Pro? And how do I scale up my business without breaking the bank? Is mapping right for me, or should I move towards aerial inspections? Thanks, guys. Keep up the good work. You know what gets me really fired up about this question? What's that? That he's doing it right. He's asking the right questions. How do I bootstrap my business? Mm -hmm. How do I grow my business? How do I get into the next thing without spending too much money? And well, I he think sounds a, like a planner, just as you alluded to as, as we open the show. That's what he's doing. I agree 100%. In fact, I think he, what he's doing is he's doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. And I think that with the equipment that he has, he can definitely map. I don't think that he can map in a, in a way that is going to be um, fairly accurate on a large scale, but it, he has the tools to figure out how mapping works. And he could do some um, modeling. He can. He totally right. can. Again, it's just not going to be, you know, the highest, how do I say this? It's just not going to be the highest uh, earner. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not going to be that accurate. It's not going to be, you know, super good. But can he learn everything? Absolutely. With the Phantom 3 Pro, you got that one over two thirds sensor. And the thing is, same sensor as the Mavic Pro, Mavic Air. You can do mapping with that sensor. The Phantom uh, 3 Pro does have integration with Pix4D and other applications, so he can do that. He can sign up for a two-week trial of Pix4D. If he uses a different email the second time, I'm not sure if that'll work, wink, wink. Um, <laughs> uh, but you should try it. Um, anyway, then he can process some maps, understand how the process works. He could take our class. I mean, yeah, I mean, would, you're going to want to take the class because it is very detailed information. And if you don't do things step by step by step, you're going to have problems. So on that note, if somebody's coming in to take those classes on mapping in the membership, um, do they need to take the classes the semantics take the classes first before they start their two week or do they need to start the two week trial so they can use it while they're taking the class does that make sense uh i think that they should wait to do their two week trial i think that they should take the class learn the gist of things go out do some mapping missions and then start their two week trial and start processing okay so i think cool. that is um i think that is the way to do it so nice yeah. all right um, so a couple things that he said that jump out at me and I want to see if you agree with. Number one is realtors are losing interest. I And that does not surprise me. That really yeah. doesn't surprise me. And I think that's actually more of a, a market 
kind of uh, environment than anything else. And what do I mean by that? I mean, houses are just kind of selling off the shelf right now. Is, would you agree? I mean, you're in the mortgage true. business. You own a mortgage business. No. What are you seeing right now? No, that's very true. And, and that does affect the way you market. It affects some of the strategies that, that one uses. And it disrupts those, right? Because some of the things that we would normally do as a mortgage company on behalf of realtors no longer benefits them because they don't need it. Yeah. Because things are selling so fast. So yeah, that could absolutely be a factor in this. Because obviously one of the things that you're you're letting these realtors know and convince them of is that what you do with your drone is going to help them sell the house faster. So no, you're right. And I, and I think that is a factor. Um, but on the other hand, if a lot of people are moving away from it, there might still be an opportunity there if, you're, if you do a good job of selling yourself. I think you do have to do a good job of you selling yourself. You have to be able to offer packages so you can do the whole kit and caboodle. You can't just be going in there and be like, I'll take your drone photos because they're either going to ask one of two things. What else can you provide to me or can you do my drone photos for super cheap? Right. And so this is where mapping, mapping and modeling comes in. You can combine the two, Correct. right? For yeah, them. totally. Um, now, I wouldn't do mapping for realtors because there's no money in it. Uh, that's just me. Somewhere um, in Vancouver with million-dollar homes there might be, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're doing big homes, ranches, and estates where people need to be able to look at different areas of the ranch and show off different areas of the home and whatnot, interactive mapping can definitely add a whole new venue. Like, for example, you know, most realtors utilize Matterport to do mm -hmm. virtual tours of their homes, but there's nothing on the outside. And if you're to just do a quick and easy, simple drone map um, and then add the Matterport as the inside of the home to the model itself, you're talking some really serious value. And again, it's only going to be for the higher end homes. But yes, it can definitely work. So I think his question is, is how do I get into mapping cheaply? Mm -hmm. You've got the drone. You're not going to be able to do super high accurate maps, okay? It's just not going to happen. You're going to get much better data from a Phantom 4 Pro. You do not need an Inspire. Um, you can also get the unique H520, another fantastic drone for just doing mapping. Um, that, not as versatile, though, as not the as versatile. P4 Pro. Yes, yeah. that, is a great, that is a great point, Rob. Um, that being said, uh, you know, he can get a free Pix4D um, account. He can learn processing and mapping. He may want to check out Drone Deploy uh, just because to learn how they do deliverables, because I think it does help for people to understand this is how you can do deliverables. But also understand that every deliverable that Drone Deploy gives you is a more convenient way of just doing it yourself in PIX4D. So mm -hmm. just, you guys need to be like 100% aware of that right now. Um, that being said, the deliverables are multifaceted depending on who the client is, whether you're doing interactive mapping for kind of marketing, uh, us utilizing drone maps, uh, which you could do with your existing drone, just not very well. Um, you could also get into um, you know, understanding how to showcase maps to clients using something like Sketchfab. Now, in PIX4D, you have to run a certain process to get an FBX file to then import the FBX file into Sketchfab to get models that people can view themselves. In addition to that, if you're doing like, let's say mining or construction outputs, I mean, we had a student from, oh gosh, I wanna say he was from either Alabama or Arkansas, and they literally monitor poop piles daily. They map poop every day. I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to be funny. Like they actually <laughs> map and model the poo. To what? So, what's the purpose of that? Because um, they use it for fertilizer. So it's actually like a supply ingredient for them. They need to know how much they're using every single day. And they literally audit that process every single day with drone mapping. So I it's mean, inventory control, essentially. Exactly. Yes, yeah. permanent record. Again, we go back to permanent record. Um, you know, and I think it's just like crazy because with volumetric measuring, I mean, you can do some really, really cool, crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's important to understand, too, that you don't need all this equipment to do mapping and modeling. You can do great modeling. As far as mapping is concerned, if you're trying to get, you know, centimeter grade accuracy, again, six months ago, I wouldn't have even said that this is possible. But after traveling to Florida and one other place, I now believe that it is possible uh, if you have the right equipment and follow the right steps in your mapping process. Hmm. So I think the centimeter grade is absolutely possible with photogrammetry. A lot of people would say that I'm full of crap. 
Um, but I think that the crap is actually full of opportunity. <laughs> Apparently it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More than I would have imagined. So anyway. And it also shows just the breadth of this vertical being mapping and modeling. It's Paul was just saying earlier, you could spend an entire month just doing videos on all the different things related to mapping. True. So there's so much opportunity there. So in his question about whether this is a road that he should go down, I mean, yeah, I don't want to say you have to, but you'd be wise to. Yeah, I think you would be wise too as well. There are just so many things that you can do with it. It's insane. Like it's absolutely insane. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's I, becoming like a foundational knowledge. It really is. Yeah. Who knows where that's going to branch out to. But again, a lot of people are just getting into mapping without really following through systematically with the process and steps. And it's actually, I think, hurting the industry because a lot of drone pilots are like, oh, I can map that and I'll just follow this and blah, blah, blah. Most, you know, most of these drone courses that are out there for mapping really don't give you the knowledge to create great 3D models, to create great 3D planes where you're, you're seeing the details of buildings, you're seeing the writing on buildings, you're able to get a lot more detail than the average drone pilot. I think that's why our mapping course is so powerful. I mean, we've, we've, we have so many new students who are just interested in the mapping. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to be filming a lot more mapping, you know, videos. Yeah. Uh, to really augment the existing classes. Because right now we already have two classes and I think that they could go a lot further. So. Well, and it's just a perpetual funnel because there's already so much associated with mapping and it's growing every day. Agreed. And it's changing every day. Agreed. So something to stay up on for sure. Of course, that's just the nature of this industry as a whole. Agreed. So I think that he needs to go in this. So if we were to recap, how do you start your business? How do you bootstrap your business and start in drone mapping? Number one is utilize the drone you already have before you decide to spend more money getting into it. Obviously, having a computer to process maps is important. But on basic maps and models, when you're learning, like just do a single building, don't do complex structures because you can import, you know, grid photos and orbital photos. You can't do more than really two orbits, um, but you can import those into cloud processing systems. Pix4D does have one. Um, you know, uh, UGCS has one now, but a lot of these cannot do manual tie points. So they're trying to automatically tie your data together. So you can't always get the best data out of cloud processing. And I think it's really important for you guys to learn desktop processing as you can do more with your maps, as you can get more complex data, as you can actually acquire better data than the competition. You know, I think learning the, the cloud processing is great for quick jobs, but you also have to understand the limitations of cloud processing. Mm -hmm. And this is also something that, you know, that testimonial that I showed you from uh, the lady who attended our class. And she said just so clearly, like, the, your class, talking about DroneU, is so much more comprehensive. I actually learn how these things are done. So, you know, with the other class, if the app wouldn't work, I'd be screwed. I'd have no idea how to create the same thing utilizing other means. With your class, I understand the process through and through. Mm -hmm. So I and know. And spent all day working that out. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And she said that hands-on doing it was awesome. She also said the ability to use her own drone, uh, the ability to use our drone when her drone wasn't working, you know, equated to about three and a half hours of flight time, of mm -hmm. actual time on the sticks. Yeah. And she was like, when I was at that other class, you know, it was only 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I, and their class was more expensive. I just don't get it. And I was like, I don't get it either. But thanks for that killer <laughs> testimonial. So um, anyway, if you want to check out the DroneU uh, interactive mapping class, highly recommend it. Uh, just go to the droneu.com or droneu.education. Um, in that class, there's actually a lot of uh, additional little hacks that you should watch as well. I would recommend taking those. And if you have questions and you're a member of the community, you can ask us all questions inside of the group and we'll help. We would, we're, I love mapping questions and so does Doug. So we'll be there to help answer your questions at any time. But I think that's going to do it for us today. I really do appreciate you listening in. And if you're considering getting into the drone mapping business, make sure you do it the right way. It is going to take time. It is going to take energy. But here's the thing. If you want to have that competitive advantage, if you want to be better than the competition. And if you truly want to grow your drone business, take the time now. It will pay off in the future. And on that Absolutely. bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.